video is a brief walkthrough on using the data collection scheduling feature in Cribble Logstream. Setting up a schedule for any of your configured data collectors is very straightforward, especially if you're familiar with Unix cron style expressions. First, from the Manage Collectors page, click on the Schedule button next to the collector you want to set up a schedule for. When the dialog comes up, click on the Enabled toggle to enable scheduling, and this will bring up all of the options. The Cron Schedule field is where you define the schedule you want it to run on. If you're not familiar with Cron expressions, there are a string of five values for the minute, hour, day of the month, month, and day of the year. They're all numerical values. An asterisk in any place means any. For example, if you want to run your schedule every hour at five minutes past the hour, simply change the first asterisk to five. As you can see, just below the field, Logstream shows you what your schedule looks like as you type it. Cron expressions also take interval notations. So if you change the first field to asterisk slash five, it will run every five minutes. And for example, if you want to run it every Saturday at 1 a.m., change the first field to zero to mean zero minutes, the second to one to mean 1 a.m., and the last one to six, or the day of the week for Saturday. The skippable toggle determines whether it's okay for Logstream to skip a scheduled run if the workers are too busy. The Max Concurrent Runs field determines whether or not jobs can run concurrently. If it's set to one, that means if there's one already in progress and the next scheduled time comes up, it'll skip that one. And the rest of the normal job options are available to be set here as well. Once you hit confirm, the schedule is saved. As always, if you're running a distributed environment, you need to commit and deploy the changes. And then you've got a collection running when you want it to. Thanks for watching.